atmosphere isn't usually warm and fuzzy. Unless you're in Josh Holder's family. During the day, it's not scary. This is, this is all just fun. It is a little scary. How much work Frightmare takes to put together. So we build everything out here. September and October are full chaos. I call it the no sleep month. Josh wouldn't have it any other way. And we work all night scaring people. Welcome to the farm. He doesn't have to go far. So I've actually lived here my whole life. So I've never known an October without a haunted house. So the window right behind me is actually my bedroom as a child growing up. They had a real strange childhood growing up. The good old days bring back so many stories for Josh's mom, Teresa Holder Morrison. This is just a uh, Memory Lane. This shows just a lot of the tickets. Tickets way back when in 1985 were $4.50. Teresa and her husband Brad. And this is Brad. Opened Frightmare in 1983. Josh wasn't even born yet. Josh was born in 85. My dad actually built this back in, I want to say the early 90s. So, I mean, this was our backyard. So everything we had here, we'd come out and play hide and seek, kick the can. Josh didn't realize his dad would stop building so soon. So his dad passed away when he was 13 years old in 1999. Family and friends stepped in to keep Brett's dream of a haunted house going. I knew when I was 18 that it was it was this. It was time to step up and make the legacy bigger and badder for sure. It was hard growing up in it and becoming a boss and learning. Josh learned a lot from his dad who will always be his friendly competition. It's always hard, so I'm always comparing myself to what my dad built, too, so I try to one-up it now. Chip off the old block. All the holders still keep Brad's vision alive. And Mom still does all the tickets. My little sisters take tickets. It's easy to get spooked around every corner at Frightmare. That fear fuels warm and fuzzy memories of Brad. Really proud. I know his dad's proud. And sparks inspiration for the next generation. It's for the legacy of my dad and now my legacy and my mom and my family. You know, everybody knows that Frightmare is a family affair and, you know, we just keep making it bigger and badder than ever.